Cell phone theft victim Hugh Ford Nicholson says someone jumped out from behind a pillar and accosted him. And this as our focus on cell phone theft continues today. I was coming from the Mall of Africa um, on the 1st of November last year. Um, I got a taxi to the MTN taxi rank and then I was just walking down to the Bree Street taxi rank. And one robot away from the, the block where I needed to be, um, I walked past the guy. In the corner of my mind, um, he told me not to walk past him. But the minute I passed him, somebody else jumped out from behind a pillar um, in front of me. And at that moment, I knew that something was fishy. And when I turned to kind of go back, I was cornered. Um, the guy that jumped out in front of me took out a big knife and I don't really understand the vernacular but all I remember in saying was Letty phone, Letty Mali. I would be gutted. It, it would just be very depressing for me because I mean what else am I supposed to do, you know, without it? But I think I could manage because I also have a laptop so there's a lot I can do on my laptop the same way I can do on my phone but I won't be as mobile, you know, so it will be frustrating, but not a lot, but it still will be kind of devastating. Yeah. I mean, do you feel like there are ways that people can protect themselves with all that information that is there and then at your disposal, and then if something happens, you're being robbed, are you able to protect yourself from everything that's on your phone? Well, yeah, there is a way. Well, firstly, they can make sure that their phone is locked at all times, passwords, pins, and all that. The other thing is they need to keep their location on and make sure their mobile data or any type of internet connection is on.